recognizing signs of impending death. In the journey of life, each of us approaches the inevitable destination of death in unique ways. Though it may be a difficult topic to discuss, understanding the signs that accompany the end of life can be profoundly comforting for families. This narrative delves into the realm of medical expertise to shed light on recognizable indicators that signal the impending passage. The path towards death is a personal one, shaped by various factors. In situations other than sudden or traumatic fatalities, there exist discernible signs that mark the approach of this inevitable event. This video aims to offer insights into these indicators, fostering a deeper understanding of end-of-life care. Through this exploration, we hope to provide families with the knowledge they need to navigate this delicate phase of life. Decreased Appetite A significant sign that often emerges in the final stages of life is a decreased appetite. While it is customary to encourage a loved one to eat or consider artificial nutrition, contemporary research challenges this practice. For terminally ill individuals, forcing nutrition may not only prove futile but also exacerbate their condition. Digesting food demands a substantial amount of energy, a resource that the dying person may lack. This lack of energy parallels the sensation of nausea experienced after an intense workout. Just as the body directs resources to vital functions during exertion, the energy-depleted body of a dying person allocates its remaining resources to essential systems. Consequently, the ability to digest food diminishes, rendering its presence painful or intolerable. Carbohydrates, the body's primary energy source, become scarce as eating ceases, prompting the body to metabolize fat and produce ketones. These ketones, known for their role in the popular keto diet, play a remarkable role as hunger, thirst, and pain suppressants. Paradoxically, enforcing sustenance during this phase may hinder the beneficial effects of ketone buildup, potentially increasing discomfort. Increased hunger. The absence of food intake during this phase typically extends for around 10 days. It is crucial to understand that patients are not declining due to their lack of food, rather, they abstain from eating because their bodies are gradually shutting down. Artificial hydration, although well-intentioned, can lead to additional discomfort. As the body's functions decline, the kidneys lose their ability to regulate fluids effectively, causing swelling in the legs and potentially the lungs. This fluid imbalance contributes to distressing symptoms like breathlessness and coughing. Furthermore, the body redistributes its energy reserves, prioritizing the brain and heart over non-vital areas. This redistribution may manifest as cold and mottled extremities, a late-stage sign that death is imminent. While not painful, providing warmth through additional blankets can offer comfort to the individual. Breathing changes. As the body approaches its final moments, respiration transforms into an entirely involuntary action, governed by the brain stem. Breathing patterns become irregular, including periods of suspended breath lasting up to 20 seconds. Administering oxygen becomes ineffective due to these patterns, and the resulting shallow breaths may dry the nose and mouth. Additionally, a distinctive gurgling sound, known as the death rattle, may accompany each breath. While unsettling for family members, it's important to note that this is not distressing for the patient, who is non-responsive and deeply asleep at this stage. As life ebbs away, breaths gradually become quieter and spaced further apart until the final breath is taken. Incontinence As life's threads loosen, the brain signals to control bodily functions cease, allowing muscles to relax. The sphincter, usually in a contracted state, relinquishes its grip on the bladder and bowels when brain signals fade. Consequently, incontinence, though uncomfortable, is not uncommon in the moments preceding death. Agitation In a poignant juxtaposition, the final sign often emerges as agitation in a previously lethargic individual. Loved ones may witness attempts to stand, shift position, or rearrange bedding. Recognition of familiar faces may waver, and even unfamiliar language could be used in communication. This paradoxical behavior reflects the complex interplay between the body's decline and the lingering traces of consciousness. Understanding these distinctive signs that herald the approach of death empowers families to provide compassionate and informed care during this tender phase. By embracing the wisdom of medical insights, we can accompany our loved ones on this poignant journey offering solace and comfort in their final moments.